All right, everyone, today we're going to be talking about Nintendo Switch 2. I know, what a shocker. It seems like all we talk about is Echoes of Wisdom or Switch 2. It is what it is. I do want to get into Mario Party Jamboree here uh, one of these days, but we actually have a new rumor. Well, is it a rumor? There was an interview, essentially, with a major person involved in one of the biggest IPs in the world who essentially all but confirmed uh, again not actually confirmed but heavily suggested that their game and probably the franchise on the whole is heading over to nintendo switch 2 beginning in 2025 and that's really exciting we also have some updates in the conversations surrounding nintendo switch 2 being revealed this month that's right folks like it could be revealed this month it's september it could happen but uh we have to throw some updates and they're kind of coming from just context that needs to be provided for Pedro Henrique Luda Lipa aka PH Brazil online because he's the person who is right about all the stuff and we got kind of hyped off you know speculation anyways from him last month and we have some updates on that today as well uh so just strap in because it's going to be a fun one but before we dive in i just want to remind you all we're on a road to 150,000 subscribers so if you're enjoying all these updates on switch 2 and you want to continue to stay updated go ahead and subscribe down below oh and by the way drop a like as well if we can hit one thousand likes on this video in 24 hours you're gonna unlock something really really cool tomorrow now that being said let's go ahead and dive right in because first off we're over here on this website uh this website is called the shortcut and it says the first nintendo switch 2 game may have been revealed and it's a big one now as we scroll down here the interview actually comes over from games reactor and it deals with gamescom but they just have the nice quotes here for us nice and easy for us to dig through and it says naoki yoshida final fantasy 14. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Nintendo Switch 2, okay, one of the most popular online multiplayer titles after Square Enix held positive discussions about bringing Final Fantasy XIV to the Switch successor. So here we go. Naoki Yoshida, the game director, told Game Reactor at Gamescom 2024 that there's a lot of demand for Final Fantasy XIV to come to Nintendo consoles and subtly hinted that will be the case. That's right. They're hearing the demand for Final Fantasy XIV on a Nintendo console. Notably, Nintendo consoles, not Nintendo Switch, consoles. It's almost like they can't say the name of the new thing due to NDAs. But let's get into the exact quotes here. I'm sure that all of the media and our players probably suspecting they really want to have our game release on Nintendo consoles. I can't say this again. It's funny to me every time a developer says Nintendo consoles instead of Nintendo Switch because it's like, come on, the Switch is already out. So what are we talking about? Obviously, we're talking about what's next, hence Nintendo's consoles. Anyways, but the concept that we have for Final Fantasy XIV is to release our game on as many devices as possible. So again, he wants it on everything, not just Nintendo consoles. They want to get this game everywhere they can. So looking forward to achieving that goal, we are working towards making progress and we are having discussions. So I hope that everyone can look forward to news in the time to come. Uh, it goes on to know how big this would be. It's obviously one of the most popular online games at the moment. This gets into when Switch will be announced and we're going to get to that in a separate thing here. But man, oh man, oh man, that's really exciting. Now, it shouldn't necessarily be unexpected. If we go all the way back to re reports that happened earlier, I think in May, if we go back here and look uh, over here at The Verge, we see Square Enix plans to aggressively pursue multi-platform game releases. We covered this uh, through their financial report and showed the exact documents earlier. But getting to some of this quotes here, it sounds like everybody's uh, getting bitten by the multiplayer bug now. Now it's Square Enix. In its earnings report released earlier today, the publisher shared plans to increase profits, stating that it will aggressively pursue multi-platform strategy that, again, includes Nintendo platforms. There's that word again, Nintendo platforms. Not Nintendo Switch. Nintendo platforms, PlayStation, Xbox, and PCs. Uh, you know, talk about Final Fantasy XIV being one of their biggest games, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrade, 
etc 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 so uh that's pretty much the gist of it is that square enix was planning to bring more and more of their games multi-platform uh you know their old games and future ones and it sure seems that final fantasy 14 is one of them as hey the guy who's running the whole game is aware that there is demand for this game to come to again nintendo consoles so i find that to be pretty cool now we got to get into a little bit of the switch 2 speculation around when it will be revealed not released we you know we, we talked about that before we talked about the reveal as well but we talked a lot last month about ph brazil because he nailed a bunch of things and i don't want to recap all of that if you haven't kept up with everything we'll put some relevant links down in the description if you want to go check out some videos uh, that go over all the stuff he has said previously but i want to get into some new stuff because he is back to talking over on family boards and maybe not so surprising after all uh there's this whole thing going on with brazil and x like this is where ph had talked a little bit before and he can't really talk there because he's from brazil and now x is banned in brazil and I, it's a whole political thing so we won't go much further than that but he has decided to come out and say some stuff over on family boards and uh this is really fascinating because it provides context to what he said last month if you guys don't remember there was two key things that he put out there last month key thing number one hey uh this is one of our last shows uh, before the Switch 2 news really gets going. Now, one of the last shows doesn't mean much. It could be several po shows before we get news, but one of the last, which to, at least to me suggested a 2024. Uh, he also said that some Switch 2 reveal plans were moved forward or Switch 2 launch plans move forward, etc. We don't know what that means. Well, he's over here on Family Boards talking, and he said yesterday, the only thing I'll say, and again, this is in the uh, Switch 2 speculation thread. I believe the uh, gaming leaks and hardware thread specifically uh the only thing i'll say and not as a hint but as someone who's somewhat aware of how these things work internally pushing things into august doesn't mean we'll get a reveal in september oh no guys uh these presentations take time coordination with partners manpower they could have simply wanted to get the switch one stuff out of the way so their teams could focus all of their efforts on the big one um yeah so what he's saying is, he wanted to clarify, he isn't saying that it's coming out in, you know, it, that, that it's being revealed this month, essentially. Uh, he's not denying that it could be revealed this month, and we'll get in this in a moment, but he is saying that what he does feel like is happening is Nintendo wanted to get all their Switch 1 events out of the way, and so then they could focus squarely on the big reveal, which again, could be in September, but it might not be. So let's go ahead and see how he further elaborates on this because people had questions, of course. And the first question comes from MPL90. He says, it's pretty clear that presentations such as Nintendo Directs and Indie World require a lot of preparation and communication with partners. However, I have to ask, is it truly that implausible to think that the presentation and coordination behind the scenes for this presentation is so intense to prevent any talk with partners about the new system? By that I mean, would have have been possible to see both presentations hosted in September, the typical slot for the pre-TGS Direct at least, with the behind the scenes talks with partners for the new system happening anyway. After all, both presentations were going to be in their final phase of preparation either way. Given the time window for the September presentation, one to two weeks ahead of Tokyo Game Show, and I wouldn't even be surprised if talk with major partners have been ongoing for a while anyway, especially if they're about something like the Unveil trailer rather than a Direct, with a much smaller number of games that can be featured by default. And Brazil's response is saying, all I meant by that post is that people should probably keep an open mind. It might be in September, but it might not. If the month ends without a reveal, it doesn't mean we're all doomed. So while we're all obviously hyped for a possible reveal this month, and I even have a hot chip challenge bet on it, Oh boy, it sounds like I might need to go purchase that hot chip just in case. Again, Brazil's not saying that it won't be revealed this month. He's just saying if it's not, it's not the end of the world. It could be October, right? He's not saying October, but uh, we all know that it, October was always a possibility. So we just got to throw that out there that, hey, as much as we all want to see it this month, okay, October could still really be the reveal date. Or Nintendo might not reveal it until 2025. Again, this is all speculation. The insiders like Brazil aren't really giving us a lot of, of concrete information but you know we had to be fair and make sure i provided the context that brazil never specifically said it would be revealed this month and now he's saying it could be revealed this month but it might not be uh which i think that makes sense now one thing people had brought up as like a counterpoint to doing the nintendo switch 2 this month and i i, I gotta give brazil some love here for this uh the playstation 5 pro is i mean 
one of the uh, worst kept secrets in gaming and widely believed to be being revealed any day now, whether it's this week, next week, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? The PlayStation 5 Pro is believed to be revealed. We know the iPhone stuff is coming on the 9th, uh, but PlayStation 5 Pro at some point this month is expected to be revealed and come the, out this holiday. And people have been saying, well, maybe Nintendo Switch 2 wouldn't be revealed this month because they want to get clear of the PlayStation 5 Pro. Well, Brazil has something to say about that. So Dark Cloud says, okay, let me ask this. Do you think any of these presentations were moved up because of the PlayStation 5 Pro? So not just like Switch 2 stuff, but what about the indie world or all of that, right? It, it, did the PlayStation 5 Pro announcement have something to do with them happening in August? I really don't think Nintendo gives a shit. <laughs> I mean, can, can you put it any more bluntly? This is obviously just his opinion. Of course, this isn't him saying... That's what his sources have said, but he says he really doesn't think Nintendo gives a shit. And I gotta be honest, I don't think Nintendo cares about the PlayStation 5 Pro either. One, it's obviously something that's a big deal for Sony and their fans in this holiday season, but Nintendo Switch 2 is not coming out this holiday season. It's also one of those things where a lot of people are, spend a lot of time talking about PlayStation 5 Pro rather than the actual games coming out on PlayStation 5, which to me is a little wild. I, I, I get that hardware announcements are a big deal, but Astrobot comes out this month and that game looks incredible. And I know I'm going to be playing Astrobot, so I, I don't know. Anyways, I'll probably end up picking up a PlayStation 5 Pro, but I'll kind of leave the conversation there until we actually get an announcement. But I do think it's true that Brazil threw out there that, hey, uh, you know, I don't think Nintendo gives a shit because I don't think Nintendo gives a shit either. I honestly think Nintendo is going to do whatever they're going to do regardless of PlayStation and Apple and all the rest because Nintendo isn't releasing their products when they are, right? Uh, the iPhone should be coming out this month. Uh, the PlayStation 5 Pro is coming, probably coming out in two months. And here we are talking about Nintendo Switch 2, which likely isn't releasing for at least six months so we need to keep this in context that nintendo's platform is further out so whatever marketing they drop now isn't the only time they're going to get to pub up and market the damn system so i don't think they're really concerned with the playstation 5 pro and i do still think the 17th 18th and 19th of this month makes for the best possible reveal timing in this month and I talked about this in another video as well, and I want to update you guys. One thing we talked about why it couldn't be revealed this week was something to do with previews dropping this week. And while I don't know the preview dates for uh, everything going on, it turns out that I did become privy to when the actual preview date is for Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. And I can just tell you it's not this week. All right, there is no Echoes of Wisdom media previews dropping this week. It's going to be next week. So with that being the case, I actually know the exact day, but again, uh, I didn't out ask permission to share that. So I'm not going to uh, throw that into the ether, even though I'm sure uh, lots of people know the date, but I haven't seen it posted publicly yet. So I'm going to leave that alone. The preview is coming next week. And that could include the Mario Party Jamboree previews as well, or maybe Mario Party Jamborees this week, or maybe Mario Party Jamboree previews have to be held off until, you know, October. I have no idea. But what I do know is... With the previews being next week, it makes me feel like Nintendo won't do it next week. Plus, that leads into the Grand Fest, the last Splatfest for Splatoon 3. So I kind of feel like next week is sort of Echoes of Wisdom preview week combined with Splatfest. So I don't think Nintendo's focusing on next week. And then obviously this week technically is free. And so is the third week. So who the hell knows? Or Nintendo doesn't reveal it at all this month. They reveal it in October. Or Nintendo doesn't reveal it all in 2024. And instead it's revealed in 2025. One thing I do like about what Brazil is doing here is he has stated several times that he believes the Switch will be revealed in 2024. Uh, and he hasn't really backed off from that stance, even as reports came out that it might not release in March. It might be after March in April, May, or June. Uh, and he hasn't changed his tune, really. He hasn't really said that it won't release in March. Uh, he also hasn't said that it won't be revealed this year. In fact, all of his comments seem to be hinting, yeah, it's being revealed this year, but like he doesn't know the exact day, the exact month, just that it's relatively soon. Uh, and what that means is <laughs> he doesn't know. At least, and, he, and he's not going to tell us even if he did. He actually put up a post... Uh, last week saying that, you know, I'm not going to tell people even if I did know, so did Nate the Hate. So we're not really going to hear from them uh, unless, I, I shouldn't say that. Brazil did say one thing. I'll throw it on screen here for you guys. Uh, he noted that he's not going to say anything about the actual reveal date and anything unless he has so much to put together that he has a concrete, like, report to put together. Uh, and so there is a small chance Brazil might hint to us or might just straight up tell us the actual 
a reveal date, but he's not going to be running the family boards or dropping like, a, oh, it's happening this Wednesday sort of thing like he's done with Nintendo Directs. He's going to leave it alone even if he does know the date unless he has enough info to put together a concrete report, obviously for his podcast or his website and everything else. So, all right, guys, we're going to leave it at that. That's going to do it for today's talks about Nintendo Switch 2. Uh, yes, I could ramble on and on and on about Switch 2 for hours and hours and hours. In fact, that's probably exactly what I'm going to do tonight on our live stream nintendo prime live tune in at 8 p.m central tonight you can again you can only watch those live streams if you're there they're not available after the fact so it's a live event be there or miss out it's all right if you miss out we'll do another one tomorrow podcast on wednesday catch you guys in the next video <laughs>